you know Hey guys, what's up? I'm back for another video and today I will be showing you guys K-pop songs that I think are just lyrically immaculate. Um, this is more like of a deeper video than what I normally make, um, so brace yourselves. Love Sick Girls is about toxic love, we know this, and how it can affect you mentally. Throughout the entire song, they're saying, you know, it's okay to be alone, they were born to be alone. But even, like, if it's so okay to be alone, why are they still looking for love? And then they're also, you know, describing what happens in toxic love. And then towards the end, they actually really start talking about how terrible and how extreme toxic love can actually be. And then at the very end, Jenny says but we're still looking for love. So even though she knows it comes with these terrible side effects and all these terrible things, she's still looking for love and that's what makes them love sick and it makes me cry. You make me feel special. struggle with depression and no i'm not just saying this like oh i feel depressed i mean like i actually take pills for it i actually see a therapist like i actually struggle with depression and this song came out when i needed it the most the song is about being there for somebody and making somebody feel special and making somebody like uplifting somebody when they're at their lowest times and they came out with this song when i needed it the most the song talks about how much somebody means to them and how they also make them feel special. It's crazy. again depression <laughs> and my friends you know they don't really struggle with depression but they do every once in a while struggle with anxiety and that's understandable like a lot of people struggle with anxiety and this song is just a reminder like yo it's okay to run away you know from the shitty things that life brings you and just have fun with your friends and that really 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 fucking helps because sometimes all you need is just to hang out with some of your best friends Now this song really, really, really makes me cry. Let's get real real quick. There will come a day where BTS is no longer BTS. There will come a day where BTS is fans and they will no longer be idols. We know this. And that is scary as fuck. Imagine working your ass off, finally achieving your dream, and then it can be over in a split second. Like, 
that shit is scary the song is about youth and enjoying your youth and how quickly youth can like be snatched away from you like as somebody who's growing up that shit don't take that for granted <sighs> Fever is push and pull, without a doubt. <laughs> like, it reminds me of lovesick girls in a way. They're talking about how toxic it can be when they say, like, I want to suffer from you. And then they're saying, even though it's toxic, I still want to be with you, which is them, you know, saying, I want to hold you. Like, obviously, the song is about being thirsty, but mm -hmm. in, like, going back to toxic love and how sometimes toxic love it can be bad enough to where it gives you a fever or fever like symptoms and that the song is just so powerful <laughs> Now, this girl has been through the fucking ringer. Like, she's been through way too much. And after IU, this is the idol that I feel for the most. Like, this girl has lost way too many people that she's loved. This girl, this poor girl has literally just been through way too much in her career. And she doesn't deserve it, whether I like her or not. I feel like most idols are scared to make a song like this. But this is a song that needs to be put out to, you know, be able to say, oh, you know, I say I'm fine, but in reality, it's not fine. Like, I'm having all these thoughts, and I may look fine, but I'm not. But you'll never know unless you walk in my shoes. You'll never know I'm kept out in the gun. Cause everybody sees what they want to see. It's easier to judge me than to believe. If you look at the night and say nothing, I can manage how to go get Now, as soon as I heard this song, I knew that this would either be a song that I cried to on the daily or that was free therapy for me, and I was right. A lot of people always, you know, say, you never know is about the hate that Blackpink gets, and yes, although I feel like that is one of the, like, a big reason of the song, I also feel like it's about the hardships of being an idol, because being an idol has to be one of the most miserable jobs, like, at least in my opinion. You're constantly being put on a pedestal, people are constantly calling you perfect, people are constantly calling you their role model, and you have to constantly keep living up to this image, this perfect image of people. And this is them saying, you know, being an idol isn't all it's cracked up to be, you know. You may think, oh, it's so fun and blah 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 blah, but it's actually a lot fucking harder than you think, and I don't think people understand that. I genuinely thought that this song was about schizophrenia when I first heard it and then I actually like really looked at the lyrics and I was like oh shit that's definitely not what it's about. If you have anxiety or if you have anxiety or panic attacks this song is definitely for you. Those attacks always start with the mindset and that mindset is these voices in your head telling you this and this and this and this and that causes the anxiety or panic. The song is about stepping, you know, out of those voices and not letting those voices control you. It's very aggressive when you read the lyrics, but it's really just the feeling that you get like, get the fuck out of my head. And that's really why it's one of my favorite songs by them.
y'all can say whatever you want the like whatever you think this song is about but the way I interpret it is probably different for most people I truly think that this song is just about confusion and really wondering and wanting somebody to tell you oh am I doing this right everybody is always being told you should do this like this and this and this and this and this and And if you don't do it exactly like this you're wrong but you can't help but think sometimes is this actually right because the things that they're telling you to do just doesn't seem right at least that's what I go through sometimes and I feel like this song captures it perfectly Okay, so that was all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what songs you guys um, (laughs) think are also amazing, whether you agree with my list or not. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!